Hi there, I'm Sam from Elementary Technology and today we're in our Customer Experience Centre and I'm just going to do a quick um, comparison of digital and optical zoom classroom visualizers and show you how it can affect your everyday lesson plan and teaching and learning. Now we have um, an IPVO entry level camera which is 12 times digital zoom. What we tend to find is when schools ask us about visualizers we always like to give them the opportunity to see the difference between a digital and optical camera because it can affect teaching and learning. Um, we've hooked it up to our smart touch screen and um, as you can see we've got some elementary technology li literature under Underneath. Um, now I'm just going to show you the zoom on a normal digital camera. Let's imagine this is um, a piece of work that your peer is assessing to the rest of your class and straight away you can see if I zoom in here that it doesn't regain pixel, it doesn't regain image quality, you see a lot of pixelation which again could hinder your teaching and learning. This could come across English, math, science, any curricular activities. Um, now if we go, that's at half, so if we go to the full capacity, again you can hardly read anything under there. So I'm just going to go back out here and we're just going to swap it for a £10 note very quickly. Just to show you as well, if we just put it there. Again, so if we zoom in here on the Queen's head, we can see that it still isn't visible at all and very, very hard to read. So as you can see, if you're trying to do any curricular activities, let's say you're looking at mini beasts and you want to get into some detail, you are going to lose that quality. So now just moving on to an optical zoom visualizer, we've got the Elmo LX1 here, which is an excellent mid-range optical visualizer. Um, the difference between digital and optical is the visualizer actually has 11 lenses in the base of the camera, which gives you that image quality that you will always need no matter how far you zoom. Um, now I've got the same piece of elementary literature here, and I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna show you the difference and you'll be able to spot it right away to the other one. So we're just gonna come over, I'm just gonna zoom in, exactly the same as what we did last time that's about halfway and you can see the autofocus feature just little white lines it up perfectly for us and again straight away you can tell the difference and no matter how far we're going we can go even closer here we can even get to a stage um, where we can see the dots per inch on the literature as well. Just an example, if you were using this in a science lesson and you were doing a chemistry experiment, you could get into the finer details, um, even moving things forward with maths, etc., equations, it's just a, an excellent option. Now, if I come straight back out like that, it'll always go back to your full image. Now, I'm just gonna do it differently with the 10 pound note as well here. So we zoomed in on the Queen's head on the last one, so let's do the same again here and straight away you can see the difference there. Perfect optical zoom image, no matter how close you get, I can get even closer here, like so. And if I just move this across, there look, you can make out perfectly all the lettering, um, you can you know, check the polymers, etc. You can see the queen's head in perfect image. And if I just zoom straight back out again, we'll get back to a full image. So there are just a, few, a couple of differences between a digital and an optical visualizer. Um, we run the Visualizer Shop online, which is www.thevisualizershop.com. Um, we would be more than happy to come and demonstrate to you if you are looking at, um, into some visualizers for your department, and we can show you the differences of how it can benefit your lesson delivery. Thanks for listening.